Hello pilots and welcome back to Flying with Overkill F-18C and today we are going to be taking a look at the radar in LTWS or latent track wall scan. So we're going to be wrapping up the radar today and let's get after it without any delay. Just like the previous videos there are links in the description to previous tutorials, more in-depth tutorials on the uh, radar so I highly suggest you watch those if you guys are unsure about it. Um, but for everyone else, let's go ahead and just get after it. We've gone over range wall search. We've gone over track wall scan. We've gone over the SA page and the data link. So now it's just time to put it all together on the radar and you guys will see how easy that really is to do. All right. So first thing you can see on our radar. Okay. Let's make it our sensor of interest. We are currently, we have the data link turned on on our radar and we are in LTWS. So you can see in LTWS, one of the advantages is we can A, do our IFF by doing the uh, um, target under cursor. Okay, so we're still getting the IFF interrogation. Because we're in LTWS, we're getting their telemetry, 0.3 Mach at 18,000 feet. And we can simply move over and get the same thing here. They're currently registering as unknown half foos, but, you know, they're friendly. They're turning green once the IFF interrogation is complete. All right, um, so a lot of similarities. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the AMRAM just so we're ready. Let's go ahead and bring that back up. Now, let's go ahead and bring up some hostile aircraft for a second. This is really a lot shorter of a tutorial than you think. So, up here we have our RWR contacts coming from the data link. Um, and the um, MSI page is what this is, or the MSI information. That's the data link information. We turn that off and it goes away. All right. So nothing real special there. It's just same thing we saw on the SA page, same thing we see on the RWR. But so now we have a few other contacts coming up in the air and boom, now we've done an IFF interrogation, identified this guy as a hostile. So what we can do here is there. Now he's deemed as our LNS. And so I think the biggest thing with track wall scan is, or latent track wall scan, is it tells you when to switch modes. I, I think is the biggest advantage to it. You know, um, I don't ever really try to engage in track wall or in latent track wall scan unless I'm doing single target track. Um, if I want to do TWS, I want my TWS options because if you notice, we don't have our EXP, we don't have the zoom, we don't have the raid uh, button. Um, so there are some hind hindrances to being in the range wall surge and using the latent track wall scan. But the advantage, I think, to latent track wall scan here, for at least for me, in my personal opinion of it, is you get that full information of, of track wall scan. You know, we can, by meaning that we can slew our TDC over, we can see what's going on, but yet we still get our full range of azimuth, our full range of bars if we want. Um, and then when we finally identify targets, right, when we start, you know, for example, we've identified this cluster. We know that there's not so friendly people out here, right? So here's where I would go, all right, let's go into TWS now. And now we get our information. We know our focal point, so we can just go into our XP here and we can designate our, you know, our DTS and our DT2 and our LNS. So we have our LNS here and notice that the second track was a donor track and that's why the diamond appeared inside of it, right? So we're able now to get a hold of these two guys and you know still see what's going on in the rest of the battlefield but i think that's the biggest advantage for me to ltws versus using um just boring old range wall search right now we can go into our auto mode and start you know prepping the aircraft for a strike you know so <clears throat> you know um there's really not a whole lot to um, latent track wall scan, which is why I waited until the very end to show it to you guys, um, was because that there wasn't, once you understand range wall search and track wall scan, then latent track wall scan, it's just a matter of taking the information from both sides of it and determining what mode you want to be in. You know, that's all it came down to here. You know, so now just like before, you know, there's our Fox three, one, one away. Let's swap targets. There's Fox three again, two away. And now it's just, you know, doing things like you normally would. And you can see we're in track wall scan, but I can switch back out here. And we still have our missiles tracking. We still have our time to active. Okay. Making sure that radar keeps the lock there. Two seconds to active. 
All right, so there's 12 seconds to target. So now, both of us should be pit bull. We can start turning away. But there really isn't a whole lot you have to worry about with TWS. There are, or LTWS, there are a few restrictions that you couldn't do in uh, the other modes, right? All right, yep, there's two down. So like I said, you don't have your EXP and you don't have your raid buttons when you're in the um, uh, latent track wall scan. When you lock a target, okay, if we pick a target here, like let's try to come back around here for a second, and let's do a donor here. There we go. Boom. So we got, we got that guy locked up. All right. Anytime you lock a target in range wall search, you still go into single target track. Okay. So that that's important to remember. Um, so you, you can't employ multiple weapons while in range wall search with latent track wall scan. You have to switch to TWS if you want to do the multiple launches. But we had all that same information that we had before. Now we just turn Fox 3. One way. Oh, that might have been my fault. I think I lost contact with the radar. Oh, no, it looks like I picked it up. Could have just been my horrible flying there. So, um, like I said, I mean, I'm just going around in circles now, so I'll knock it off. Um, at this point, you know, if you guys understand range wall certs and you understand track wall scan, then latent track wall scan is just a matter of giving you a little bit more information range wall search so that way you can decide what mode you actually want to be in. Do you want to be in range wall search for the kill or do you want to be in track wall scan? You know, and um, there's really not a whole lot to it. So just as long as you guys understand where you're getting your information from, you know, practice. Uh, Chuck's tutorial guide is a fantastic... Um, resource to learning the sim symbology i think that's the hardest part is like i said is learning where is the information that you're seeing on the screen coming from is it you who's tracking it is a donor who's giving it to you and i'll tell you pages 308 and 309 of his tutorial guide for the f18c um, and i'll put a link for it in the description below um, is where you'll find all of the symbology information so that way you guys can have a visual reference you know as you're flying around um, as far as what you're looking at but anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the F-18 radar tutorial series. Any questions or comments, leave it in the fields below. Anything I need to expand on, as always, let me know, and I will. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one, where we'll start taking a look at close-range acquisition modes and the joint helmet-mounted queuing system. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye-bye.